Welcome back, everybody. CK here with AJR Racing. If you're new here, welcome. Today we're bringing the F3 car to Mount Panorama, uh, otherwise known as Bathurst, in the land down under. I love this track. Uh, reminds me of a tech, you know, technical courses like uh, Belle Isle, um, you know, Monaco. Tight quarters takes nerves of steel just to finish. Uh, but yeah, I get into some really good battles in this one, so I hope you stick around to the end. But without further ado, let's get to it. All right, folks, here we are. F3 at the mountain. Bathurst. 24 degrees Celsius out there with the winds coming out of the south at 5 kilometers an hour with a relative humidity of 35% with a zero chance of rain. But it's coming, folks. Yo, yo. It will be coming soon. We are go for takeoff. Doesn't want a grid. Come on, grid, baby. All right. Gotta say, every new every new track I've been going to, it just looks so good. The crowd doesn't look so so much like cardboard cutouts. It's pretty pretty cool. But yeah, the Quest 3 is definitely staying, I think. It does glitch a little bit here and there, but so do the Index. They all do. I think it's the motion system that really throws them off. Alright, we got our work cut out for us. The track temp is 24. The air temp is 20. Celsius, 30 laps. Heads up, get ready. Go, go, go. There's an incident in El Corner. It looks like Garcia. Careful. It's the Widowmaker Corner. Tim's gonna be all over me. Good thing I noticed that closing speed. That could have been disastrous. Side. Nice. Hold your line. Clear left. Yeah. Nice one, Chuck. Nice move, mate. Come on, let's go. Gotta get back in this thing. The leaders are gone. Oh, 
I need that draft. I'm not close enough, though. He's probably saying the same thing about Raphael. We're gonna be in his draft pretty hard. There's an incident in all right, James. freebie. Looks like it's Marina. Let's get Raphael. Oh, I didn't even realize we were in podium. <laughs> Don't let this guy distract you. Come on. A little bumpy through there. Oh, he's offline. Dang it. Come on, Chuck. Yeah, don't panic. We'll get him back. Go Brown. It's a forest elbow. You think it might be Marino? Alright, we won't be able to get him this time. Stay behind at this point. Okay, mate, we 
really think we should pass this guy. Yeah. Lift a little. I'm in the dirty air. Oh, it's offline. All right, we should have him. Little bit faster than him. B3, sector one is 0.6 off the pace. I think he knows it too, and I he knows I can catch Raphael. Might help him. I'm not sure though, I am not a mind reader. <laughs> Bad exit. Guys all over me. The guy behind has just done a 157.8. Oh, this guy in the straight. Really slow right there. There we go. Oh yeah. First elbow. Can I hold off Tim? He's gonna be coming. Our 
Left left side. Left. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. You're on the left. You're left. But let him by there. I'll have a good run on him in the straight. All right, Chuck. We're halfway home. We think about seven bumps of fuel remaining. Whoa! A little loose there. Me and Tim at this point. Ooh. <laughs> wow. How I save that? I don't know. Come on, just send it. We're out of draft now. We had a code brown again coming out of the mountain. Good exit. The gap in front is now 0.9. Gotta stay calm, we still got time. Good out of there. Really good. He's doing everything he can. Who's coming out of the pits, I wonder? We estimate four laps fuel remaining. P3. That lap time was 157.7. The guy behind has just done a 157.8. Alright, we're in the draft. Ever so slightly. Ooh. 
Push, get second place here. Oh, I saw that coming as soon as he hit the, uh, as soon as he hit that curb. Done it many a times myself. Tim, that was a great race while well, it lasted. Oh, the quest just uh, blacked out there for a second. It does that. I don't know why. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Gonzalez behind is now 8.5. It's really quick, but. Okay, Chuck, just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. P2, three laps of fuel remaining. Got a good run up the mountain. Thank you. Okay, Chuck. You're really Garcia in the gaps now. Eight point eight. Two to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Two laps of fuel remaining. All right, two laps. You heard him. Just got to hang in there. As you know, we ain't catching Ignacio. You know, no matter how much practice I get at this track, I am never just comfortable <laughs> coming down the mountain. It's always edge of your seat, out of control.
Go ahead. Cap 2, Garcia ahead is now 9.0 seconds. I've had a couple bad races. I've been trying to get an F4 one done. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. This is the last lap of fuel. Yeah, one of them I lost a hundred I rating, almost. Like I think it was like 96. And then I did a take of this one earlier. I got a first place. But come to find out, like the game sound wasn't recording. So it was just me talking with no. It was just me talking without hearing the game, you know, it's terrible. There's no way I could produce that. So, yeah, here I am. <laughs> but I'll settle for a second. It's cool. Be one of my best laps. Thanks. Get a lot of glitching. Cole, appreciate it. Let's see how it went. That was fun. I wish Tim and I would have went all the way to the end. See, I knew being on the outside here would be no good. Never want to be on the outside there. It just pushes you wide. It's always way slower. Was that Raphael? That was Raphael. Someone said something to me. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. Oh, let me back that up real quick. Sorry. I had to, uh, Tim was saying, uh, sorry for giving you a heart attack. <laughs> the hill. It's so easy to get distracted in replay because I'm just looking at everything. I can see so much more now in the uh, Quest 3. So sorry if you catch me wandering. <laughs> So Tim got ahead right there. That was a pretty nice little pass. Or was that Tim? Oh, no, it wasn't, actually. Check out this pass this guy does, though. Or no, I guess he didn't pass him. thought there was a pass that happened. It was just this guy getting close. Ooh, gave him a little bump, that's for sure. He was cool about it, though. He slowed. I don't think he meant to do that. No malice intention. Ooh.
speed up there a little bit. Oh, what happened there? I got lucky. I saw him spinning. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Had to pull out of that one. He had a lot of momentum. Yeah, let's see his view of that. He's coming in. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, this is gonna be freebie central. Definitely wasn't a block. I could see how you would think it was, like for a second, but I let him by anyway. So, I, mean, I just jumped in there. I was like, "Whoa, he's coming fast!" But it was a defend as well. Didn't work. <laughs> just couldn't beat that momentum that he had. Wow. Really pulled him fast there. I'm surprised. He must. He has a lot higher downforce. I think. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he's got a much higher downforce setup. Not sure how to pronounce that name. Is it Matthias or Mateus? Looks like Matthias. M A T I A S. This guy was just. Was it this guy? This guy, this guy just said, see ya. I mean, he just left the pack. 57s, he was in the 57s, yeah. No surprise there. I guess I was too. I did a 57.4. Nice. Wow. I didn't even realize I had that good of a lap time. Yeah, I had the fastest lap time. Didn't matter though. <laughs> Poor qualifying. Everybody's got their weaknesses. Check out the chopper view. Really looks good. So smooth, like in the index it would be really choppy. Wow, this looks fantastic. I had to try Flight Simulator. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, what happened to this guy? Oh, yeah. Typical sliding spot. Marini. Couldn't save it. see so far out in the distance I can't get over that how clear it is yeah quest three 
500, 600 bucks roughly for a strap and everything, it's, it's well worth it. Well worth the money, money well spent. And the battery lasts easily three hours to unplug in. So if you do longer racing than that, you know, hats off to you. So I, I never go above a couple of hours, two and a half hours myself. It's too long to be in VR. I mean, you know, if you had a super comfortable headset, maybe not. This is definitely, it's really comfortable. But you gotta have the head strap to be balanced. So here we have Raphael, he was really going slow through here, so he, it was like he parked it in here, but check this out. Yeah, he was way offline. Oh, almost, almost tagged him. That was close. Can't believe I saved that. Yeah, when you're coming into this one, you want to hug this wall right here, big time. So you can get a nice straight, as, as straight of a line you can through this part right here. It's, yeah. See, I had to break in there. Normally I don't break, I punch it. And because I had to break, it threw me into a little bit of a, a slide. That was lucky to catch it because it's so off camber there. It just wants to throw the car. Yeah. But we didn't die. I mean, even sped up here in VR, it's still pretty, it's a little choppy, but not too bad. Surprisingly enough. But not good enough. This is the one where I need to just tuck in. Oh no, actually, I guess I uh, got it this time. It was the last lap where I... Uh... Some good draft on me there. Yeah, Munzer was definitely uh, slow through that downhill chicane, Not like down the mountain. <clears throat> drafts on me. He's fast through there.
He decided to stay tucked. He could have went for it. That's the difference between, you know, fast drivers and fast and smart drivers. They know when to not pass and to pass. So if you pass at the wrong time, it slows you down massively and you'll lose on the guy in front. Speaking of this guy, let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, you can already see his back end sliding left a little bit. So he's got a left slide and then it's going to whip on him. Yep, snap over steer. Perfect definition right there. Snapped it. Ooh, I bet that broke the car too. Do you ever recover? Mm. Tough luck, Raphael. That stinks. Happens to the best of us. Luckily, we were able to see it. Ooh, that was too far. Crappy turn through there. My line was garbage. Yeah, I went a little wide. <laughs> no sense of going through there too wide, that's for sure. I bet, uh, Matthias was hoping we did. <laughs> such a bummer we had such a great race going <laughs> maybe i'll catch him again one of these times he was the number one i rating it's his i rating 4.4 oh that was it right there or no was that no that was it I love it when the chopper whips around like that. It's so cool. Really gives you a sense of like being in the air. It's weird. You almost get butterflies from it. That's what I miss about flight simulator. It's so busy though. It's hard for me to break away from I racing, especially now that I'm doing content, it really takes up a lot of time, a lot more than you would think. <laughs> Probably a minimum of six hours of production work per video on a race. Sometimes six to eight, depending. <laughs> Did it good though. <laughs> Get to do the Austin Powers, but that's the way to do it if you're going to do it. Don't go on the racing line. I ah, saved it. I still got. He still got fourth. It's not bad. Oh, nice. Was like, no, I was car number two. So I probably didn't get much eye rating. And that's pretty much it. All right, checking out the net here. We're looking at a plus 56 I rating and a strength of field of 
2,526. We were top split. Gained a .21 safety rating. 149 champ points is pretty good. We'll take that. Uh, biggest gainer today was... Looks like Nicholas. Nicholas Lopez Gonzalez. Well done, sir, out of Mexico. Plus 79. Biggest loser today was... Nicholas Alonzo. Ooh, tough luck, buddy. Better luck next time. But uh, we'll see you at the next one.